So hey everyone, welcome back to the Skill Shop. I am Akshay, and today we are going to see logical thinking and flowchart in programming language. So why I said programming language, not Python programming language, because it's a thinking procedure, and programming is nothing but solving the real world problem with the help of programming or with the help of computers, right? So what we basically do while solving the real world problem with the help of computer. we take the inputs we just do some processing on that inputs and we provide output to the user or whoever the operator of that program or whoever the beneficiary right so this is the basically how programming works the so flowchart is uh, just nothing but diagramic representation and illustration of a solution for a given problem okay and it allows you to break down your problem into different processes and stages and think Uh, on a minute minute details to create the programs okay so this is nothing but the flow chart and it is the basic step while visualizing how we are going to solve any specific problem so yeah definitely if it is a diagram then there should be some rules for that diagram there should be some blocks so let's see what are the types of block the first block is the start block so start block is nothing but this is a rectangular uh, shape which uh, ended with the two circular uh, semi circular or concentric circular shapes then for taking the inputs like reading from some file or from console or anywhere we use the input and it's a, a parallelogram shape okay then we used to process some expressions or something so it comes under this process uh, blocks okay then decision blocks are there and this decision blocks are uh, mainly used for if conditions if else conditions switch conditions in case of other programming languages like c v c plus plus java etc uh, and so on right and even uh, this uh, like square or uh, what you can say this shape is also used for uh, showing the loop or uh, decisions like for loops or while loops okay then we have outputs so after performing the operation we definitely give some outputs right so outputs are also represented by this parallelogram shapes and uh, then uh, it comes to the end of the program and cleaning the memory and etc etc in different programming languages and for that we use this uh, again the start or this terminate statement which is same as the start statement or start block okay so let's see uh, one basic example with the flow chart so there are three numbers given and we have to find uh, the largest number among them right so just imagine a is 30 b is uh, 20 and uh, c is 10 and uh, computer don't know right so how uh, we are going to solve this pro uh, problem with the help of computer or in a programmatic approach so let's see and let's discuss okay so first of all uh, we used to start the program and uh, as you know for starting the program in different language uh, different processes are there okay so in uh, mostly most of the languages there are main functions like so we use so okay after starting the program we use this parallelogram shape and uh, uh, take the input so we are reading the three numbers a b and c and that are 30 20 and 10 as we discussed previously right so is a is 30 b is 20 and c is 10 then after that we used to decide oh if a is greater than b and a is greater than c yeah 30 is greater than 20 and 30 is greater than 10 then this condition sets true okay and if condi if this condition sets true then it will return the output okay output to the output statement and for that we used to print like this okay so this is the okay this condition is true and we print yes okay and we print a a is the biggest number among the three numbers right then we close the statement like this okay what if this decision false this decision is false okay in that scenario it will go and check for another decision that is b b is greater than a and b is greater than c right and if that condition is true then it will return this b b is greatest number and it will print b and it will end the program as shown in the figure then if this is also not true and if this condition is also false then only one choice is remaining and c and in that scenario c is the biggest number right so in that scenario it will print c and it will close the program so 
how the flow charts work and how we think programmatically in different uh, programs or uh, we mostly use this kind of flow charts in our future tutorials as well so stay here and uh, this is all for this video and if you think uh, this video is helpful for you then share this video with the more enthusiastic programmers we will see you in the next video and till then happy coding